Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Kyle! I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind. What's going on you guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Move Away Fishing. And today we got a epic tuna video, baby. We're on the conch again with Kyle and we're whacking tunas on poppers. Kyle, what do you think? Insane. Insane. It was a, the most mental bite in the world. We're finishing out the night here, but gotta get started right now. Let's dive right in the video. What's going on boys and girls? So for these next three minutes, please bear with us. There's no audio on the footage. I don't know what happened. We got a new GoPro, some issue happened, but we're still gonna show you the footage and I'm gonna voice it over. This is Goody on a really nice tuna here. First fish of the day actually, and it was on the troll. <laughs> I actually tripped him up when I went to go pick up the gaff. I'm nomad. First fish of the day, so got a little bit of weight off her chest, and now we're gonna start fishing. We found a fad floating in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know if I showed it, but trolled it and caught some fish on it. All I'm doing is putting my finger in his throat here and popping it, and uh, I guess that just makes the meat a little bit better. We actually stopped trolling for a minute and tried chunking these fish, but they would not eat the chunks at all and picked back up the troll. But you can see I'm really trying to hide that hook as much as possible because those tunas are smart. And I like to grab a handful of chunks when I throw my bait in the water too so it looks naturally. All right, so we're back to the troll. We got a Nomad with cable. Yes, tunas do eat cable. They don't care what you say. Um, they're not as smart as you think they are. Got a nice one on the troll right here. We actually doubled up on this pass. By the way, we're trolling these Nomad lures, probably about eight to 10 knots. Crystal clear water on this day. I mean, it was so cool to just look down and see those fish like that. I took the gaff and handed Kyle the rod here. And the rest is history. So right here I tell Goody who's driving the boat at the time to turn the boat starboard so that fish will kind of push out and stay away from the boat when we go to gaff it. I really don't recommend reaching as much as I did here, but you know me. Almost got me with the hooks. Third fish of the day for us. I think we caught four trolling. And uh, we're starting to do some chunking and now the real fishing really starts. This is later in the afternoon. Found a couple birds. Putting on a live pilchard. Probably got like 30 or 40 feet of fluorocarbon. And obviously you can't cast it with those big heavy setups so I was just throwing it out there. And then you can see we're all fishing like letting the line out with our hands just because we're trying to let that bait swim as natural as possible and have no tension on it. Goody just missed one right there, I believe. I'm looking for the frigates and I just feel the line get a little bit tight. Oh boy, there he is. Click it over, reel down. Got him on, Jay. Got a baby whale on. Probably fought that fish for like 15, 20 minutes. And this was definitely my biggest yellowfin. Look at how pretty this fish is. Sickles coming out of the water and everything. No better feeling at all than putting a fish like that in the boat, especially first fish of the day for me. And, um, I was just absolutely stoking on this fish. It's probably 70 pounder all day. So sick. Kyle, in the boat, killer! Yeah! 
Oh, yeah. Thanks, dog. Good <laughs> boys. We just got into a sick bite and the freaking GoPro was dead. I had to freaking, had to get on the fish. There's nothing we do. We caught like 12 fish. You know what I mean? Whoa, brother! That was a sick pop. I got, I got a good amount of deans in the water. Perfect. A, a different fish ate it. You saw, I don't know if you saw. I'm on camera, too. I forgot. Hoodie! Look at Hoodie! I don't know if you saw the first eat, Kyle. Oh, he's right here. He's right. Dude, it's actually a nice one. Dude, what's with this popper hey, bite? Go I'm gonna let him go again. Oh, oh my god. Go. Yo. Yo, they're chewing, dude. Yes, Kyle. That was my first fish on a pod. I've never thrown it, yeah. I've only ever thrown it. I mean, I'm throwing it right back out. Oh, dude, it's the most fun way to catch Not even close. Did you see that popper bite? Quick cook and release, I'm back out. Let's see. Let's see if I can make it happen. Whoa, my God! What is happening? Kyle, tie a pop, tie a pop on his I saved you earlier when they were eating <laughs> Ty went on a spinner right now. Yo, you got a real one, killer. I don't know. I just think it's fighting hard. Oh, it just came off. No way. Yeah. Rail rod now. Rush Rushy from local knowledge tell you if you don't if you don't know how to rail rod a tuna, you don't know how to tuna fish. Is that how they fight him? The blue thing, like the blue thing's where you go, or no? Just like when he's leaning on the rail like that? No, they they would fish rod holder the whole time. No, he ain't a small one. Huh? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he kind of is. Oh my God! Whoa! Yo, Kyle, put it on. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is this is like this is disgusting. This is insane. Insane. On the popper, dude. What is happening? Throw a couple chunks first if anybody can. Just we got if we if we can catch these fish for the next 30 minutes, dude. <laughs> this is wild. There's one right here. Oh, oh. With... should I tie that orange pop on here? Oh wait, it's in a fish's mouth. I gotta grab one. Oh my god! That was on a livey. That wasn't my fish. Come on, brother. Damn, you got him, dog? Yeah. You capped him? Yeah. For yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, one's a bunch falling. Yeah, one boiled on me too. Did you see that? Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Kyle! I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind. Dude, that was a giant. I had to get that on camera. Please. That was insane. That was insane. Wait, double? Oh! Double! Wait, that was a giant. Yeah! Oh my god!
Did you see? Wait, watch this. Watch this. That was a giant, dude. How big was the one that aired out on me? 50? <laughs> the one that just ate me was like 80, 80, 80? 70, 80 pounds. Holy this is going to be stupid. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's already chasing it. I want to do like 150 pounds or each. Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> the one that ate me was good. Yours is a big fish. Yo, gaff. I got you. I don't know how I held on to the game. Dude, did, did you see it spinning in my hand? Dude, we're murking them. We're murking them on poppers, right? Yo, throw some chunks back there. Kyle, Kyle, somebody, somebody, I, I, I really can't handle this bite. Hey, somebody throw that popper. In. Yo, tie a popper on that. Screw the live bait right now. This is the sickest bite. You got me? Oh, never mind. We're just going down. Yo, yo, we're on a mission, Kyle. <laughs> You're killing them right now. Absolutely murking them on poppers. One of the craziest tuna chips you've ever had, Kyle. Uh, no? I mean, dude, they don't bite better than this if you get them wide. Oh, oh my, my god, god, it just it just touched the water. Josh, this is the sickest. Watch on me, watch on me. Josh, this is the sickest. This is. Bite I've ever seen. Oh, bite. Kyle. Watch, watch. This is insane popper bite. I've never seen anything close to like this. Oh my god, I wish I would have brought my stall. We got any more chum? Oh, there's, there was one on you. Um, yeah, we got chum. Watch this. They like it when it first lands, yeah, dude. Yeah, right when it lands. That's a good one, Kyle. Yeah, boy. Nice. That's oh, a good one. Good That's a good popper yeah. fish. I'm gonna need a pick with him. Yeah, you are. Watch out, Adam. Watch out. Dude, he was about to dip again before I stuck him. Even like small ones on top. Like 25 pounders. Yeah. I mean that's 30 pounds. Yeah. We got him boys. Oh my god! Oh my god, it jumped out the water with the popper! Dude, it jumped like 20 feet. <laughs> that was like shamu on the popper. You just have to oh. oh my god. Oh, oh. Dude. oh. Oh no, no, the popper spun. Oh, that was crazy. They were chasing it, they were still chasing it. Throw right, back, throw back. Throw back, throw back. Dude, throw back. Yo, that thing was zooming. There you go, you're gonna get him. Oh my I god, saw. they're launching out the water out there. I wanna get eight so bad right next to the boat. One more cast. Hey, 
Okay, it's not in. I'm good, Goody. Yeah, I, I sling him. Go You're up, good. Go up, go up. Yeah, <laughs> All right, you guys, we're about to get into the cooking, but before we do, in honor of this epic yellowfin tuna video, go ahead and cop a move and weight fishing yellowfin tuna hoodie. Whoa. We got them in black. Hold on. Let me hold it up. There we go. It's a light tie yellowfin. Light tie yellowfin. We got them in black, and then mom tried the tuna. We also got them in blue. Come on. These are so fresh. I was literally repping it while we were fishing, and I shouted it out, but you couldn't hear because there's no audio. They're so comfortable, lightweight hoodies, but they're still just heavy enough to keep you warm. They're only $50. I try to keep it as cheap as possible. Go check them out right now. Support the dream. I'll link down below. Let's get into the cooking. All right, we just got in the kitchen, and we're just slowly dicing up this yellowfin tuna using a Dexter knife, nonetheless. And I'm cutting it up into kind of long chunks, and then I'm dicing them into small chunks after that. And that's a lot better for making the spicy tuna. Just like that, got little chunks, throwing it into a bowl, adding some sriracha, you gotta get your spice, some mayonnaise, just for the texture, and some toasted sesame oil, and that is really, really flavorful. And I also like to add a little bit of sesame seeds as well. Black and white, you know me. And we're gonna mix that all together and it's absolutely delicious. You can eat it just like that. But we're gonna add some rice from the rice cooker. By the way, you need to use your rice vinegar. <laughs> you gotta wet the hands when you're patting down the rice, otherwise it'll stick to your hands. And this is how I spread it on the, on the nori. And this is just regular nori, nothing crazy. I'm adding it. I'm adding a scoop full of the spicy tuna just to one side. And I'm not a professional, but I'm trying to make a hand roll. So I'm kind of rolling it diagonal and then I'll close off one side. And it doesn't look pretty, but I'll tell you what, it tastes delicious. I hope you guys like that little B-roll section of me making a quick hand roll. Dan had to coach me during the whole thing, but this is what the final product looks like. Some nori some white rice and um you know a little bit of tuna tartare is this tuna tartare what is this spicy tuna spicy tuna <laughs> but uh looks delicious let's try it mm. so good so so good it's unreal. I gotta get more tuna on here. Hold on. Look at this. Look, look at that meat shot, Dan. That's a meat shot. Mmm. That's as good as it gets right there. All right. <clears throat> it's spicy. The sriracha, the sesame oil, sesame seeds. Even the rice vinegar tastes good, but <laughs> sriracha's hot, let me tell you what. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you made it to the end of the video, we're about to post the next couple videos if this one does good with no audio. Sadly, it's not what our channel is regularly about. You can go check out our past videos and see we talk all the time, I talk way too much, but we had an audio issue and I filmed some great videos, I really still want you to see them. So let me know what you guys thought of this style video. I know it's a little bit different, I did a little bit of voicing over, we put some music behind it, but we had to work with what we had. So drop a like, please. It really helps push the video and it's completely free. Also subscribe if you're not already. Coming up on 50K, the big 50, and we got a surprise for you guys. Stay tuned, Till next video, Moving Weights out.